Welcome to Strambo's channel. We are two days out from the Toronto Pro Show and we are so excited. We are just about to head to the hotel, get his first coat of tan, check in, and do all that fun stuff. Yeah. So here's where we see Robin having some issues. Just controlling pronation when you get to be a big, big, big dude. Oh, there we go. Oh, some of the tissue that he's closing in on. He just loses a little bit of alignment. Hold that. And so we can actually help line up a bunch of muscles and make sure he's got all this stuff working before we work out. Yeah. So we've got a bunch of muscles that can help him before we move here to, to just make sure he's all lined up to load all this stuff. There you go. Yeah, that feels good. Another boy. Okay, let's hit the gym. Let's go. We're gonna see this come up. Yep, it's gonna come right up into your ears. Yep, that's how we get this to come around. If this moves up, this can come with you. There you go, then it slides down. And then shoulder blades have to move behind. There you go. Okay, mom and dad, collarbone and shoulder blade are moving together. Yep, there it comes. There it is there. Yep. Yep. Turns into this, turns into this, through the belt. Good, one last one. Woo! Yep, this wraps around. There it is. There it is. Yep, yep. There it is, done, good. Excellent. Wow, that's like the best that those have felt. Yeah. But we've been doing them a lot, so yeah, it makes yeah. sense now. But you feel how you can kind of find, yeah, look at that. Woo, peekaboo, peekaboo. Now that sense of, of holding one thing while you reach, yeah. as opposed to they both go together, Yeah. right? Oh yeah. Amazing. The best part about this for me is at this point, I would be overthinking everything, trying to figure out what is the optimal workout to, when really it doesn't matter that much, just leaving it up to Eric to decide what we need to do to get my body ready is just it's awesome for me. So let's go. So we're working on pec minor. Turning this in. This is the stuff that sits under these big pecs. Okay, so we're going to work on control of this. So Robin's basically bringing his collarbone up and out. He's going to bring it down. And he doesn't have to go past zero. Okay. He's going to practice bringing his collarbone, I'm going to say this high and narrow. And the best move out of this is to pull them out wider. There you go. And this is all the stuff that sits under here. Elbow position is this way. Okay, we're not tucking back out here like a regular dip machine. We're using this just to drag our shoulders and drag them down and in. Okay. He's not bending at his elbow at all. His job is to keep his elbow straight. This is just a post so that this is where the work is. Otherwise, the wrist and elbow want to start to bend. So he can even let it take him up. As he takes it up, it, this is going to have to pivot in. So as he controls this, it's going to take his collarbone up and into his ears. And then from that position, he's going to have to push out. So I might call that narrow, narrow, to wide. Like, oh, I can come up a little bit. Yeah, and then once these sneak around and come up just a little bit, there, there. Does that make more sense? See how these just pop forward? Yeah. There you go. And that, see that sense of like lengthening that to get in there? That feeling your bicep stretching to get in there? Yeah, brother, there it is. Yeah, feel that finish. Go. How about there? Go. How about there? How about there? How about there? How about there? You got him emptying the tank now. There, back. There. Lock out there, squeezing in, squeezing in. And relax, good. So you guys probably see that I'm doing a really controlled, slow tempo, 
throughout the entire set. Now, I find that that's absolutely the best way to build muscle. Once you standardize your tempo, you're able to then add weight, but always maintain the time under tension. So as a general rule of thumb, if you were to time your set, I would say that it should be lasting at least 40 seconds at the very minimum. And you can make that set last for two minutes or longer because the more time under tension that the muscle is getting, the more stimulus for hypertrophy you're gonna actually get. So it's not always about the weight. Of course, the weight does have some importance, but chasing the weight, giving up time under tension is more a way to just lift more weight and less of a way to build more muscle. So here's our path. This is where everybody wants to kind of sneak back that way. Our path's gotta go here. See how you can follow his bicep right into here. Oh. There you go, buddy. So that's gonna demand external rotation, right? That's external rotation, meaning the elbows come towards me as we shove. Yeah, there it is. Yep. Take away half inch off the bottom. Last one. There, that's it. There it is. And relax. I don't want to confuse anybody and think that you always have to lift with a slow concentric. I always preach having a controlled and slow eccentric. And I think that pausing for a second or half a second at the bottom before you change directions is also crucial. But when you're lifting heavier loads, you do want to maintain the power and acceleration through the concentric part of the motion. If we're lifting a heavy weight, we would lower it down slowly, pause for a second, then explode up to the top, but then immediately slowing it down again from the top. For our purposes today, we're doing slow concentric, slow eccentric. We're doing the entire rep, entire set slow. And that's because we're not using as much load because we're two days out from a show. And the goal is to stimulate, get some blood flow, not break down a lot of muscle tissue. Up, the body's like, I want to do this, and get it out of my side delt, right? Yeah. So it's going to feel like a, that bicep all of a sudden, like, oh, that opens that up, that closes that off. Okay, so yeah. body will be like, I want to kind of help you out versus I want to think I'm still like your biceps are facing backwards. Yeah, Make sense? Now remember, so right now they're facing forward and backward. Yeah. As you go down, as you go through, they're going to come around so that they would straighten out in these other directions, right? Does that make sense? Then shoulders are gonna come around so you can straighten there. There you go, how's that? Yes, Robin. There you go. That's intense. <laughs> yeah. But you feel that, yeah, there you go. Feel that's a shoulder rotation that locks that in? Oh yeah. Right, that's like, oh, that's going not down anymore. That's like, it feels really good. Uh, yeah, it feels like going right through it. Here is the reason why I'm getting on the stage. Not just because she motivates me, but because she's literally my rock, my soul, my everything. <laughs> and through all the challenges that I faced during this prep, she's been the one that's brought me back from the darkest times. She's seen me through the worst <laughs> and she's loved me the entire way. So that's it. Love you, Love you baby. baby. There it is. There you go. Yep. Follow it. Follow it right up into here. Right up into there. Pull that on there. There. There you go. Yep. You got it. I just change stop starts now. There you go. Yep. Got a play. Oh, what happened? Oh no. And then there, oh no. 
Oh no. Change direction. That's it. That's all we're doing. Not putting any down. Change direction. I'll come down further. Come down further. Hold that. Come down further. Laying it out. Laying it out. Laying it out. Atta boy. Hey yo. Okay, yeah. so a lot of those stop starts are just inefficient. Yeah. And then if you talk about all the things, it's stress. Yeah. Instead of worrying about load, whatever, it's just stress. You just gotta put the ability to contract. That's it for today. As you can see, it's not the most intense workout, but we make it intense with the different cues that Eric's showing me, with the intention of the exercise, with the time under tension. Look at the result, guys. I'm full blown, and I'm ready to take it to the Toronto Pro stage. So make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for following along. Make sure you check out Eric Seifert, Core Muscle Activation on Instagram. You can hit him up, you can pick his brain. He's always happy to answer your questions. Online. We'll see you guys on Sunday.